Okay, so I'm going to share my desktop. On my left, I've got my Android tablet mirrored so you can see what's going on with the DJI Fly application. Uh, the RDP session I have is a view to my Windows server. Got a couple folders there that I'll explain later. And then I've got a web browser up to show the stream. So let's turn on the uh, drone. And you can see that it's connected. I can see out the nose of the camera. And we've got a view. And let's go into the menu and turn on RTSP. So it's under transmission and streaming. You've just got to put your RTP, RTMP URL. And I said RTSP. I meant to say RTMP. I got my acronyms confused. Uh, but now I'm streaming. And I generally will mute the microphone as well. You see in the HLS directory on the Nginx server that my uh, mini little clips, my little time slices of streaming content are being produced. Uh, if I try to view it in the web server here, in the uh, browser, sometimes you got to refresh. Um, it doesn't like it if I try to start the stream after it's been started. So I'm just going to click refresh here in the Chrome browser. And you can see now it's picking up the playlist and the stream of files. It's about a 10 second delay between when the file is actually produced on the server to when the viewer is able to see it but pretty good way. So anybody with a browser can check out exactly what your drone is doing in near real time with about a 10 second delay and uh, just need to have a URL to go hit it. So put Nginx on a box, whether it be Mac or uh, Linux or Windows. <laughs> Windows was not my first choice, but this server was sitting here with nothing to do. So now it's got a little something to do. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, the other directory I'm showing is the actual recording. I did turn recording on, so I actually generate an FLV file as a uh, hard record of every flight that's been streamed.